Nous avons fait un peu de choses. Tu n'es qu'un peu de choses, John. Lord God, have mercy on these people. Now, I have not finished. I have given you the parastatals, I have given you the ministries. Now, let me give you the two agencies headed by the Fulani Modernization Agenda. Fulani First Agenda. Started by Saddam of Sokoto. Amadou Bello. The one they named the university after in Zaria. Amadou Bello. That, is, that was the reason why Nzogu killed him. Nzogu didn't kill him because he hated the Fulani. No. Nzogu killed him because he knew that the man was a reprobate. He knew the man was an evil man. How many agencies are headed by Fulani? Remember, Fulani has taken over the presidency, all the armed forces. They've taken over the, the rulership of all the, all the governance in the north. By four only. Now, let me tell you the agencies headed by the Fulani. They have taken over everything. So even when they steal money, you can no longer know now. Because Fulani will steal from customs and tell Fulani in EFCC to, to burn, burn, burn the fire. Eh, the fire will be burnt. EFCC, the Economic Crime Commission, whatever this is called. Fulani. NFIU, Fulani. Customs, oh, Fulani. Immigration, Fulani. Prisons, Fulani. Civil Defense, Fulani. NNPC, that's their private property. That's for is a private, private Fulani Janja with is their position. NNPC. Nobody dares to come close. And some idiots are saying we are Niger Delta. We are from South South. This is maybe mad lunatics in the creek. This is maybe NNPC Fulani. PTDF, whatever that means, Fulani. DPR Fulani. PPRA Fulani. Uh, petroleum trust every every fund fulani post authority of fulani nemasa fulani ndic fulani sec fulani nicom fulani fmbn fulani fha fulani nhis fulani np the list is endless and you have one nigeria some of you are in, uh, uh, after graduation you are still looking for work they have said that anywhere you, they put you into, one day you will emerge as the head. So you can read all the degrees you like in the zoo. Once you're a Nigerian, you can never get a job. If you're from the East. They've said it now. That is why all of you answer, 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 to illiterates in Abuja. In the ministries. Right, now you understand, don't you? All the parastatals they've taken over. The Sovereign Wealth Fund of Nigeria, which is the investment arm of Nigeria, where all the money goes to. Do you know who is controlling it? The daughter of the another late president of Nigeria called Abakiari. The daughter is controlling the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Nigeria. Sovereign Wealth. So when they invest in, in things like Microsoft, in blue chip companies like Dell or Apple or whatever, it is uh, Jan Jawid, the daughter of uh, uh, Abakiari, who is in charge. Like you are there shutting one Nigeria. <laughs> Let's move our country forward in Dara. Mad lunatics, all of you are. You, your brain cells are not complete. Abba Kelly's daughter, who is sovereign wealth fund, they are holding the zoo. All of you are just animals in it. Go and read the animal farm. Some animals are more equal than others. Fulani are more equal than you because their game plan was well laid out from the beginning. Well marshaled. Well marshaled. If you if you talk, they bring terrorists against you. They bring their leash, their bandits. When that doesn't work, they bring me ATL with their cattle. You can never win. And they're in a hurry. They only have two more years. They're in a hurry. And by the time they're done with you, <laughs> Those are the, the, my, the pain is that those are the most. Now, listen to me. The Hausa people that allowed Fulani to conquer them, they're all dead. Now, their children are the ones suffering. No more Hausa kings, only have a Fulani emirs. That's how these things are. Oh, dear me. Elohim, all glory and honor belongs to thee. That is the reason why the Fulani came to Imo State. They tried to take over Imo State. <laughs> And is now he promised them grab the opportunity to be at the center of Nigeria's politics by joining APC. And then your land is gone forever. And then to join APC, you must give land or give land for cattle ranching for Ruga, all the rest of it. And our land will be gone. Hey, that is what Fulani told uh, their, their Igbo slaves. Hope was at them. All of you are there. 
watching Kurokuro with naked eye from number four to number one. And some of you call him governor. Some of you call him my governor. Because you know nothing. Because you're cowards. I thank Elohim for IPOB. I thank Elohim for ESN. And uh, how God sent unknown gunmen, I don't know, but I'm praying for them every day. They are saints who have elevated them to the to, the, to send food. Unknown gunmen, they are saints to us. They are angels that we are seeing. However, we cannot see them anywhere. In fact, they are like angels, you cannot see them. You can't see them. Unknown gunmen, you can't see them. We don't know who they are, but they are doing the work of God. Unknown gunmen, as they, as they did to them today in, in Aquaibom. We don't know who they are, but we are praying for them. Because to us, that's, they are the only ones avenging. What these animals have done to us in the name of one Nigeria. Let me tell you one thing. This nonsense that um this the police IG said about establishing more police uh, posts. It's like churches in the zoo. The more churches you build, <laughs> the, the more the more should I say immoral the society becomes or amoral, whichever one it is. The more police stations you build, the more lawlessness you will have. There is no substitute in life for jobs. Go and create jobs. You do with the idiots running the zoo. Not police station, not how many vigilantes you have. Not how, how many AK-47 are in the society. What guarantees security from time immemorial? Uh, just jobs. People should be engaged. And I don't mind is a devil's workshop. <laughs> Something that, is, that, that informs the economics of people who are progressive. Very simple that you want to you want to go and build more, more police stations in there. Build it now, and a non government will bring all of them down. And there are terrorist attacks everywhere. Children are being abducted every blessed day. Some of you cannot reason that you still want to be in one Nigeria. Can you see how they abducted Christian women in Kaduna? Some of them half naked. And you're in one Nigeria, praying for one Nigeria. The more kidnappers will strike. Very, very sad indeed very very sad indeed and on that note before we bring today's program to a close very shortly because i intended to be very very short, i have a lot of things to talk about but i want to make it very short let me also remind some of you fools like hopus or the man the janja weed administrator of Imo state supreme court appointed he said uh we hijacked ESN from them <laughs> you believe the warrior uh, I will read something that somebody wrote. Let me, let me, it, I think it's, who wrote this, this very brilliant piece? It's one of our good writers. Well, how come his name is not here now? Oh dear. I would have given him credit for this. I didn't write it. Somebody else wrote. In response to what Uzadema said, he said, uh, everywhere you go, it is in Namde Kano hijacks this and that. Uh, let me add that one day, BBC, bro, don't accuse me. I say I have hijacked BBC bro, as well those idiots that work for the colonial masters.